Critical supplies and protective gear for healthcare workers is coming from unlikely sources. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas has this story. During this crisis, those on the front lines have sounded the alarm about the dire need for protective personal equipment, like surgical gowns, masks, and gloves. We're working hard every day to make sure each and every hospital gets what they need, distributes it effectively, uh, constantly gets resupplied when they need it. But hospitals like St. Barnabas in the Bronx has had to depend heavily on the kindness of strangers to get the supplies they need to keep the staff safe. From the Ford Motor Company that donated 3,000 face shields to Ford and Prep that donated supplies from their science lab. Emergency room doctor Ernest Patty is grateful but knows the supply could run out. You know, every time I go to work, I get fresh PPE to put on, which is, is uh, very valuable. But we have to, we, all of us are also cognizant of the fact that our supply may not last forever. COVID-19 cases are multiplying at a rapid rate and hospitals need more supplies. This week, Mount Sinai Health System launched a campaign to raise money for supplies, among other mounting needs. Meantime, Rebecca Sandin is addressing similar concerns for frontline workers as the president of the Health and Welfare Council of Long Island. And what I'm hearing across the board is that people are having to use garbage bags. Um, to create protection. That's why the council is partnering with Massachusetts disaster relief nonprofit All Hands and Hearts to raise money for PPE. They have connections to be able to procure PPE and to be able to get it to Long Island as quickly as possible. Businesses to organizations are having to stand in the gap when the government can't fulfill the dire needs of those on the front lines of the crisis. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News.